Hi family, Frio from Afro Life Wealth here bringing you another video. Now today's video is going to be on making stuffed plant-based mushrooms. Mushrooms being stuffed with pumpkin and sunflower seeds and it's really easy to make. So first of all you're going to get your mushroom. Portobello mushroom is really good for this because it's nice and big. And you're going to want to remove that centered stem. So get your knife and just score all the way around that stem. Keep cutting away until eventually it comes out. It weakens and you can just prise it out like that. And then place it to one side. And as you can see, it's quite hollow in the center there. Yeah, I had a little bit of a mishap and um, the edges are a little bit uneven, but we can still use it. So get your soya sauce. You can either use dark or light. It doesn't matter what soy sauce you use. And here we have no GM. Don't want any nasties in our soy sauce. So you'll get your spoon, tablespoon, and you will pour out one tablespoon of soy sauce, making sure you don't spill it. And just pour it all over the mushroom. Make sure you really saturate it and that all the sides as well as the back is nicely covered with the soy sauce. And you're going to marinate this for about 30 minutes or even longer just to get that flavour into your mushroom. And now get your processor and you're going to pour out your seeds. I've got about half a cup. One third of that is your sunflower seeds and the rest, the two thirds are around about that for your pumpkin seeds. And just pour them in the processor. And then some fresh herbs, dill we're using here. And you want to chop those up until they're finely chopped and then pour that into the processor as well. And then about half a clove of garlic, minced, and pop that in. And then squeeze about one teaspoon of lemon or lime juice. And then around about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I really like cayenne pepper, so half a teaspoon is good for me. You can pour in more if you want, but I think that's enough. And then around about one tablespoon of pure water. And we want pure water because we're not going to heat this up. We're going to eat it raw. So we don't want tap water. And lastly, or nearly lastly, about a tablespoon of oil. I'm using rapeseed. And now lastly, you're going to add in some sea salt just to add some flavour to the mix. I see salt there. And then process all your ingredients together. And just keep going until it kind of mixes up. Now there we have the mixture. It's quite chunky. We didn't want it too smooth, otherwise we would have blended it up in the blender but processing makes it nice and crunchy. So you'll 
get your portobello, your mushroom that's been marinating for about 30 minutes or longer. Pop that on a dish. And then add a little bit more of your soy sauce if you want to. And just begin to start filling up your mushroom. Placing as much mixture into the middle, the centre, as much as you can. And get it all nicely spread and nicely even. And make sure you cover the edges. Just pat that down. Then you can garnish with some sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit more of your dill. And voila, there you have it, your stuffed mushrooms. It's really easy, really nice to make. And here we have our lovely dish. I've added some broccoli and carrots and doesn't that look lovely? I hope you give it a try. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, please like, please share, please turn on your notifications and I will be posting more videos like this about making different kinds of recipes and on food so i bid you good day be beautiful be happy and be blessed catch you later bye